Hey everybody, Bucks to your box. Welcome to the table. Bucks Gearbox, welcome back to the table. Today I'm excited to share with you my next giveaway. Hey guys, Lyle here from Bucks Gearbox. Hey, thanks for checking out my giveaway. I'm just breaking into the video. This is the unboxing video where I'm gonna show you all the stuff you can win uh, if you enter the giveaway. Uh, I filmed this unboxing about three weeks ago and then my family and I got COVID and uh, so been kind of slow to get things out here. So I wanna apologize for that. And we're almost to 500 subscribers as of today, I just checked. And I just can't thank you guys enough for, for tuning in, for watching my videos. This is super fun to do. And I wanna say thank you big time to River's Edge Cutlery, my hometown knife shop. And uh, I just, I love those guys. They're not my favorite knife shop just because they're local, but because I've known them for so long, for 10 years now, all started with a Spyderco Paramilitary 2 purchase way back in the day. And uh, you know, it's kind of like the Disney World for knife geeks. Uh, and if you're ever in Columbus, Ohio, you should head west just a few more miles to hit up Hilliard, Ohio, and check out an awesome uh, knife shop. I would not be able to do this without their friendship and support, and I appreciate them very much. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you later, bye. I'm gonna give this stuff away. So what is it? Again, it's kind of a blacked out EDC uh, starter kit. And uh, I'm gonna go through and show you what's what. I'm gonna keep the knife, which is obviously a Benchmade. I'm gonna keep that a little bit of a secret till the end of the video so you see what we're getting. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna get a, a black i3T EOS uh, Olight. I love Olights. I have quite a few of these myself. This is a small one. Very just perfect for obviously it even says so right there. It's a slim EDC flashlight. I have one of these. Uh, it's in uh, bronze, I believe, and I have lost it. It's somewhere in my house, and I need to find it. But these things are pretty sweet. They work great. Um, I don't. I've got my Olight Warrior right here. I'm keeping that. That's for me. And I've got a little. I've got the tall version of this knife that I carry with me on an everyday basis in blue. I love it a lot. It takes two batteries. This is a single uh, AAA battery. Uh, got a couple of different modes on it, high and low, 180 lumens, which is great for everyday carry, and then five lumens for when you don't want to blind yourself uh, in the middle of the night, but you still need to see something. So pretty cool there. If you want to read that, you can. Uh, these are great knives. I'm not going to bother opening this up because I'm going to give the winner uh, the joy of doing that, and I don't want to tear up the packaging. This is pretty cool. This is a Fisher Space Pen, but it's it's kind of a specific one on honestly it's the pocket tech i i'm not super familiar with these i just saw them and i thought oh that would be really cool to have an everyday carry kit comes with some nice packaging um i'm not doing a very good job of unboxing this really so i wanted to show you some of that you can pause that and read it if you would like uh, fisher space pens are fun because they can write pretty much anywhere because they're sealed with these these ink cartridges are sealed Pretty sweet stuff, and uh, now they're getting into the EDC game, it feels like. And uh, let's see, I opened this up the other day. I'll take this off camera real quick. If I break this, I'm sorry, but I do want to get the pen out. And Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to cut this part. Oh, got it. And uh, yeah, I wanted to get the pen out because it's pretty sweet how this little guy works. Um, yep, you just pull it apart. And you got a pen. There you go. That's pretty sweet. And not only a pen, uh, this is an aluminum chassis, and so it's going to be pretty tough for everyday carry, and also pretty lightweight. Also, it's uh, obviously it's blacked out to go with the theme of this video, and it's just it's super small. The only thing I'd worry about this is um, losing it. Yeah, don't lose it. Might want to have to. Might need to put this in a case or something. Anyway, it's still it's really cool. There's some. Uh, literature down there. I won't bother getting out for this video. I'll save it for the person who wins. Put that back in there. I wrote with it to make sure it worked. And uh, other than that, it's staying in its box. This is really cool right here. You might have seen these around, especially whenever Rivers Edge Cutlery releases one of their exclusives. This is the company that hand makes these awesome uh, lanyards. Um, and they are infamous or famous for making the avocado that goes with the uh, 
the flat dark earth design, the avocado design of the River's Edge color, color, colorways in their Spyderco knives. I am going to get this guy out. I have one of these on my on my on my UTX 85. Uh, and I know this isn't like all blacked out, but I wanted to give the knife a little bit of color. So you got a black and kind of a marbly designed bead on the bottom there. There might be some greens in there. A little bit of that like brown kind of camo-ish look to it and bronze. But we'll go with a dark colored knife pretty pretty well, I think, and then black on the bottom. These are cool, man. These guys uh, put these together by hand. This is handmade, and they do it uh, s slowly by batches, and, uh, you know, when they sell out, they sell out. These are pretty cool to find, and uh, River's Edge Cutler keeps them in stock on, in their store. Um, there's a little, uh, little stand you can look through and find the different color combos that you want, and uh, it's just a really cool... Really cool company, and I, I love the avocado. I, I had a chance to get one of these, and I didn't get it, and I'm regretting it because now they're sold out. They are working on more if you're interested, but I love this little thing, and I think it's going to look great. On this knife, uh, also you get a little bit of swag. It's always fun to get free stuff. Uh, REC gave me some stickers of theirs and some manufacturer stickers that they have, and I appreciate that. This is very, very cool stuff here. And let's talk about the knife. Obviously, obviously, I can't talk. It's a Benchmade. And it is the Mini Presidio 2. In CPM30, S30V. It's the manual. It's the Mini. It's uh, running Carbon Fiber Elite on the scales. Uh, obviously, it's the black class. And this is a great little knife. I, was, I promise I'm not cutting with it. This is a brand new knife. Um, and I'm not carrying it, but I did get it out and uh, checked out the action and the centering and all that stuff. Uh, and it's perfect. It's really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I hope, hope the winner doesn't mind. Um, this reminds me of my Griptilians a little bit. And it's not totally broken in because, again, it's brand new. But I kind of like it better. I kind of like it better than the Griptilian. I like this design on the handles. It's very lightweight like the grip is, and it's no less grippy for sure. And I just feel like it fits my hand a little bit better. And I, I don't have my my Griptilians out right now, or I would do a little comparison. Sorry about that. I should have thought about that. Uh, reversible pocket clip. You can, uh, you can change the sides. Of course, it's the axis lock. So uh, it's got thumb studs on both sides as well. So ambidextrous carry is definitely not out of the question. This would be a great knife for that, actually. Um, so yeah, this is a sweet, sweet little everyday carry knife. Again, all blacked out. Going to give it a little bit of color with that lanyard if you want to, or you can use it on another knife. It's totally up to you. Uh, and, uh, going with the Fisher Space Pen in black and the EOS in black flashlight. I think this is a cool little, uh, everyday starter kit. If you need one or just want to add another one to your collection, of everyday carry gear. I am super excited to give these things away uh, and uh, I will have further instructions pretty soon. I'll do it like I did last time on my last giveaway where I'll, I'll put up a video and tell you that this is the video that you should comment on if you want to win. This is not that video, so don't be mistaken, but feel free to comment if you would like. Uh, but yeah, there will be an entry video that I put up I'll probably show you this stuff briefly again in that video in case people hadn't seen it yet. Uh, and then you can just, what you'll do is comment on that video. So you'll have to have a YouTube account. You'll have to comment on the video. Uh, you have to be 18 because this is a knife. And you have to be in the continental United States, please. Uh, I did a giveaway and I, I, I sent um, some something overseas and I was just kind of worried about that the last time. This is a bigger knife. It's got um, over three inch blade, I'm pretty sure. And I'm kind of concerned about sending this. Uh, local knife laws are different everywhere. And uh, yeah, I just want to make sure you and I do not get into any kind of trouble. Uh, and yeah, so you have to be 18 and please be in the continental United States only, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate everybody for watching my videos. These are, this is just super fun to do. 
Uh, it's an outlet, a creative outlet that goes along with a hobby that I'm at least a little bit passionate about, right? And uh, just to be a part of the community is really, really fun. So thanks for watching the videos. It's Buck's Gearbox, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.